Hey guys, welcome to You Fix It Garage, where it's always my goal to help you save money by doing things yourself. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be talking about generators, specifically this Predator 2000 generator and how to set it up with an extended fuel system. All right, I just got this little small toy hauler RV and my plan is to power it with this Predator 2000 generator and I wanted to be able to run the generator all night long when I'm boondocking uh, without having to get out and fill it up. And with the load that I'm going to be putting on this generator, it'll run about four hours. And so uh, I had needed to come up with a system to uh, fuel it for longer. So this is what I've got right now. The generator just mounted on the front of the RV here. You can see the setup I've got, and I'm going to explain how I went about uh, doing this. So if you guys are watching this, you're probably considering buying a Predator generator or you already have it. And one thing you need to know about this generator versus a Honda is that the Honda generator has a fuel pump on it. The Predator generator doesn't. It is all a gravity fed system. And so uh, you see those caps that people put on the Hondas and then they siphon feed from, from an auxiliary fuel tank. That won't work uh, on the Predator. You have to set up a gravity feed system with this or install a uh, fuel pump. So the only modification I made to this was the cap and uh, I took the, the cap off. It's got the little dial on there where you can shut the air on and off. And I just drilled that out and I installed this Quick Connect. I got this at Walmart. I'll put up a link to this Quick Connect. So I drilled this out uh, till it was just a little bit smaller than the threads uh, on this Quick Connect. And then I put JB Weld on it and I screwed it down in here and JB welded it in place. And then I also JB welded this interior piece back on, on the inside. I think that's gonna hold up okay. And uh, I'm just gonna leave it just like that. The only thing that it does to the generator now is if I wanna run the generator without um, my auxiliary fuel hooked up to it, instead of being able to open and close that valve on the top, I just have to crack the, the uh, cap open just a little bit to let uh, airflow in there so it doesn't build up a vacuum or I can get another uh, female piece for this quick connect and stick on there and make like a almost like a dirt bike style breather that clips on the top of it that may be what I do also but anyway I'll put up a link to this uh, like I said I got it at Walmart I think it was 10 bucks and that's how I installed it on the cap that's the only modification to the generator all right the other part of this system is uh, whatever gas tank you choose to use a lot of people use the boat gas tanks uh, and I'm sure those would work good uh, with the exception of if the fuel hose you use on it has that primer bulb sometimes that takes a little bit of suction to actually make the fuel flow so on a gravity feed system uh, that may impede the flow of fuel uh, and you may have problems with that so what I chose to do I chose to use this gas can that I already had because I already had it and it didn't cost me anything and uh, the modifications I made to the gas can, I took back here where the little breather was, that uh, cap had broke off, so it was just an open hole. So I just put a screw in there with some epoxy to seal that up, and then I bought these little breathers off of Amazon, and I think these were cheap, like less than $10 for four of them, I think. Um, and it goes in here, and it's got a little cap on it, and so I can crack this cap loose to prevent it from from uh, creating a suction in here whenever it's siphoning out um, or whether it's gravity feeding out. Uh, so I put that on it and then the only other thing that I had to buy, I already had the fuel line. I think this is quarter inch um, or maybe one little, one size bigger uh, inner diameter fuel line. It's about three feet of it, three and a half feet. But uh, I bought this little spigot that goes on the front of the tank towards the bottom. Well, it can go anywhere, but towards the bottom on the tank. And I got this off Amazon. It was like $12, um, which is really expensive for what it is, but I couldn't find it anywhere else. And uh, so you drill a half inch hole in your tank. This little rubber grommet goes on there. And then this presses in really, really tight. And once it's pressed all the way in there, it prevents any leakage. Easy, easy. As long as you got a drill and a half inch drill bit, you can put this in no problem. Um, attach your fuel hose to it, and then here's the other end of that uh, quick connect. So now that I got the, the system put together here, 
Uh, all I do when I get where I'm going, I can take my generator off of the rack here, set it on the ground. I've got a cable tie or cable lock to lock it up. Somebody steals it. But then the fuel hose comes from the, the gas can. It just clips onto the quick connect on the gas cap on the generator. It's important to make sure that that cap is tight because you don't want uh, the, the fuel leaking out, too much fuel. So as long as this is sealed up, then you've got a sealed system from here all the way up to the tank. Turn the valve on there. Crack open the, uh, the bleeder so that, you can, so that it can suck air in. And now this generator will run, I mean, as long as it'll run on six gallons of gas. So that's probably six, at least 24 hours straight, I would think. Uh, that this generator will run on this system. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to run it that long. I'm just looking for overnight, eight hours, but um, it would if I needed it to. So uh, anyway, that's the system I've got. I uh, hope this helps you out if you've got one of these Predator generators. Uh, I think this is a pretty simple system. There's other th ways online to go about doing this, but for the money, you've got $12, $10, so $22, maybe another couple bucks in here so 25 plus your fuel line i would say all in 35 bucks maybe to make this modification uh, if you're having to buy everything for it uh, and it, it works pretty well so i hope this helps you out i hope it saves money if it does please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel you guys have a great time out there rvn